Hi everyone, today is going to be kind of like uh, a different video, so um, I'm just going to come at you with some personal thoughts about just goals and video games in general and maybe why you should actually go back and play some retro, retro games. Um, okay, so this is something I'm very passionate about is uh, video games. I uh, mostly buy all the new ones that come out. But I try not to, so now I'm going to try to save a little bit of my money. Um, and by doing that also, it's a very good way to save money. So, you know, growing up as a, a person who, you know, I'd, I didn't have a console. Oh, well, my first console was a, um, I think it was a Dreamcast, actually. I think it was a Dreamcast, yeah. Uh, that was my first console, but the first ever console I played on was an N64 and you know it was so fun I played Banjo-Kazooie and oh, man it was good I never completed it in fact I only cause I, oh, I think I was like six or something and it was the first thing I ever played I was like I, don't, I didn't understand it my brain couldn't comprehend what was going on so I was running around pressing the sticks and whatnot and I think there's like a bit where you have to run up a hill or whatever and I, just, I couldn't figure it out for the life in me in my six year old mind it was just like, I don't know what was going on so yeah but then growing up a little bit more and appreciating them kinds of things you know um, made me like you know it, it gave me a, it gave me a dream and and my dream was to become a game developer and make games that were just fun and, and unique and you know that's what's good about you know old games retro games you know games like pac-man pong the ones that came out back then you know the people nowadays are not really going to experience what it was like and the first thing that ever kicked it off and how amazing it was like i think the first home console was a pong console and then like to change like game modes or thing, you could put layers on the screen or something like that. It was it was crazy. Uh, I wasn't born in that era, so I, I I don't really know, but it just can you imagine? Like I think arcades were then like back there as well, but then the home the like the, the arcade games came into home consoles, which you know was pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to go into games development to create my own games, you know, fun games. Um, and then studying at college, I did computers, and then I went into a course that did games design, but, you know, it wasn't studied, like, specifically on games design, so, um, I kind of practice, practiced it in my own, uh, in my own time as well to build up, uh, knowledge of it and help me figure out what did what and code and everything to break down the little details and the boops and the bobs, but, you know, that was just something fun to do, um, the first console was pretty good, yeah, Banjo-Kazooie, my attention span wasn't there, I was like a 0 0.1 point seconds, oh, you know, next minute, you know, I'd be gone, but yeah, retro games are fun, and I think people nowadays should really go out there and experience them, instead of buying all these new games that come out, you know, Call of Duty, that just gets repetitive, it's just the same thing over and over again, they use the same models, you know, sometimes even the same cutscenes, just different models, it's... Uh, I think an another post that I saw on it was like they used the same like death animation from like some really really old Call of Duty and it was just like wow I mean you know and people are just wasting their time playing Call of Duty in, in like a sense they're wasting their time on these new games with their multiplayer you know they just keep playing it and playing it and uh, it's really just a waste of time because when the next one comes out it means jack shit really doesn't it because you know, you, sh you might as well play something, you know, unique, you know, like, I wouldn't say this is retro, this isn't old, this is new, it came out, it's absolutely, the people, the, that game company, uh, which is the people that make Journey, uh, Flow, Flower, everything, absolutely the newest one that just came out, fantastic, it's an experience, it's not meant to be a game within, like, you know, it, it's, it's meant to be, like, a game, but it's also meant to be, like, a journey, like a moving, like a moving, beautiful image, you know. It's just something like an experience, something that not many games really pull off. 
nowadays. I mean, some of my favorite games are like Uncharted 4, um, Persona. Persona is a great game. Persona 3 Fez, uh, Persona 4, great games. RPGs, love them. You should go out there and play them if you just play shooters, you know? Because shooters are everywhere nowadays. I mean, we've got COD, we've got Battlefield, we've got like Uncharted 4, which is you know, a good game, but then again, it's still a shooter. Uh, Metal Gear Solid, oh, Metal Gear Solid was great, but you know, shooters are everywhere, and Abzu doesn't, you know, he doesn't, it doesn't put you on like a thrill or anything. It's like nice and calm and peaceful, and it's just a nice experience, you know. I think people nowadays should go out there and just explore different types of games. You know, old ones, man. Go back, even emulate. I mean, <laughs> emulate is like bad in some people's eyes, but to experience old games it's fantastic I mean you can emulate pretty much any old console now the internet has done that for people it's oh, it's amazing some of the games that you should play there's loads that you can play they start with Banjo-Kazooie even that's a game that's fun that's crazy um, Metal Gear Solid 1 for the PlayStation 1 as well you know some of these games are fantastic. Metal Gear Solid 1 got remade for the I mean the GameCube, which is, you know, it did really well. And it it modernized a new a new genre in general, you know? So games like that who have influenced things for the future. I just I think people should like this new generation that's coming out. Really, you should just go back and play all the games. It will save you a lot of money. You won't get bored. You can get them for free mostly with emulation. I'm not saying do an emulation if you like. If you find that stuff hard to do, then you know just find a console. Go out, buy a console, buy the game. Probably cheap as hell. You know, I'm pretty sure you could probably pick up an old console um, and like a game for like forty pound, which is like the same as a game, but you know, it's just something to do. And then you can buy the games, which will be cheaper. Indie developers are doing so well too. I mean, like No Man's Sky, that's doing really well. I mean, their game looks so good that they're charging forty pound for it. That's that's pretty good, you know. And people are like arguing why, oh, why is it forty pound or whatever? But they put a lot of time into it, and you can tell that you know they really wanted this game to be seen, wanted to be like known in history as one of the games that like. I don't know, even might revolutionize a new genre or something later down the line, you know? So I think people should just go travel, you know? Explore. You know, just don't waste your time on playing multiplayer over and over again to try and get to the next prestige. You know, it's just ugh, not something I do. And I just don't want this generation to waste their time doing that. You know, you buy a console, you buy COD, just play that, you know. Just don't. You don't buy a console like a, a like four hundred pound console, whatever three hundred pound console, and then buy like a forty pound game and just play that game. A console's meant to be there so you can experience many different games, even ones that um you know are exclusives. There's some great exclusives on consoles. It's just yeah. So please, just that that was just something that was on my mind and I wanted to share. So you know be great just you know all these kids nowadays with all they want to do is Ryu Wegi Teki Rokurau you know just everywhere but yeah thank you for uh, just you know sitting here and listening to me rant for a while about that so yeah thank you and I'll uh, I'll see you guys next time